Welcome to our video series about the EQ Lighting Application Suite. These videos will show you how to use the various tools and components of this software suite. We'll begin today with the patchler. And the patchler is the tool that you use in the beginning when setting up your light project. And with the patchler you will then create a so-called patch file. This can be imported in the programmer and tells the programmer what fixtures are used how they are located, where they are located, and what DMX addresses and DMX universes are used. The patch has various sub-windows. At the top you have a window which is the main tool menu. On the left side you have the fixture library. This fixture library contains many fixtures from various vendors with all the parameters that make up this fixture. On the right you have a properties window. This properties window shows properties of fixtures or the property of your workspace, the so-called section. And at the bottom you have the devices window. If you have connected any DMX output devices like uh, Butlers or Butler Pro, then you will see these devices they are discovered in your network. I don't have any DMX engines connected at the moment, so there are no DMX engines show. You can add if you want to do that with the right mouse button. You can create dummy devices that are then really replaced by the existing DMX engine in the end. The first steps are now to place the fixtures in your project. In the fixture library you have many, many, many fixtures predefined, ready to use. I will use from Traxon the so-called 16 pixel board RGB fixtures. You can now, via drag and drop, place these elements in your workspace, in your section. Now I have defined three tiles with 16 pixels and they are anywhere on the workspace. I want to place them in the upper top left corner and if I click into the section you will see that my section size that it is called has a width of 10 meters and a height of 7.5 meters. These fixtures, after clicking you can see it, are only 25 centimeters in size. So the section size which makes up my programming area is much too big. I will correct the size of the section after clicking into the section to, well, 3 times 25 centimeters which, make up, which makes up 75 centimeters. Okay, this is now the so-called section size, which is my project area. You should always define this section size, because some tools in the programmer, they use the settings from, settings from the section size to map effects to the pixels of the tiles. If I now click a tile and try to move it, you will see it runs, jumps rather fast cannot place it well very good. I click again into the section and you can see that the grid is 25 centimeters. I will make this a tenth of the size of the tiles which, so it gets easier to place in my section size. In the section view you can use the scroll wheel of the mouse to scroll in and out. No, scrolling in, this is good to see our tiles. And now I can place the tiles at the right places where I want to have it. Okay, this looks good for the moment. I will scroll in with the mouse wheel a little bit. And what you can now see is that the patchler distributed the DMX addresses 
like I placed the fixtures in the workspace. So here we have 16 pixel boards with RGB LEDs. So every board takes up 16 times three channels. And this creates the DMX scheme we see here. You can build these fixture configuration with the insert as a matrix. For example, if you want to place single LEDs, you can insert fixtures as a line and you can see that you can see fixtures as single elements. What I did now is using single elements to place them. You can always draw on the workspace to insert fixtures as a matrix or as a line. After placing my fixtures in build mode, the next step would be to enter the patch mode. In patch mode, I define the wiring of the fixtures. Here we have 16 pixel boards which have 16 pixels each and I will now define how the wiring, how the patching and the resulting DMX address screens will look like. I click on the first tile, I keep the left mouse button pressed and this is the first connection I insert. And on, let's say the next tile is connected from the second one. If I click with the right mouse button on the end of a connection, it is deleted again. I can do the same here. In some cases, the wiring of the fixtures can be different from what the patcher thinks makes sense. It could be that the first tile is connected to this and the second is connected to the middle. And you now see that the patchler changed the address mapping. So it fits to the scheme, the addressing scheme of the three tiles. Well, I will delete them again and go back to a standard wiring. Okay, this was now the patch mode. You can always edit going back to build mode, the parameters of your fixtures because you have the DMX mapping here. You can also define completely different address scheme as you need it in your project. What I would do now is I want to save this project. And I will place it here, in my Dropbox, shows and I call it um, my project. This is a file which is a pdoc document. So this is not the patch file for the programmer but this is your pure project in the patchler. You can then later load the project again, you can edit and then export another patch file and then import the different configuration in the programmer. And in the end, I also want to export the configuration as a real patch file for the programmer. We'll use the same place and we call it myproject.patx. This is now the patch file for the programmer. But the programmer can do a lot more. For all the fixtures you have here, you can change the arrangement, you can rotate, you can mirror, or you can align objects. The patchler is also capable of entering a so-called test mode. Going in, your, in the test mode, um, assume that I have real configurations, real fixtures, real DMX engines and you have the patchler connected to the DMX engine, you can test your configuration and this is done in the test mode. If I go into test mode, you have the possibility to test single lamps, you can test complete fixtures and you can test all universes with all fixtures. I will begin 
with the first, the test lamps. And I can now with the left mouse button switch on single dots on the tiles. If there were a real 16 pixel board connected to the DMX engine, they would, they would light up. And this is a good thing with the right, right mouse button. I can switch them off. And you can define also the colors that I used here as a foreground color and a background color. And in a real configuration, I could now see if my address scheme and my placement in the real fixture configuration is correct. Another function of the patch ladder that you should know, you can for the connected devices upload new firmware. If you want to send a new firmware release to DMX engines, then you can use the patch ladder and you can update the firmware for the engines. Okay, this is now my little project and uh, I will now see if the programmer really understands what I have patched here. So I will terminate, I will end with the patcheler and switch to the programmer. This now is the programmer of the EQ Lighting application suite and this is covered in a separate video. I just want to show you how the patch file we created is now used. I go to File, Import, Patch and I use the patch file I have created. Not the PDOC file, but this is the PADX file, which is meant for the programmer. Now the programmer reads the configuration in the patch file and he knows which pixels are used, how they are physically located, how they are addressed and everything else that is necessary to build your light show. I use all pixels in my project and to make it simple I use a predefined effect. Here you can see the programmer now knows my three tiles and it also knows the borders, the section size of my project and the effects engine needs these borders, this section size to correctly compute an effect. I add an effect from the library, well, take pixel explosion and here you can see the effect is generated on the used workspace. And this all is defined via the patch file in the patchler. Okay, next will be the programmer, which is shown in the other videos. For example, here the effects engine and all other possibilities. But the first step is always to create a patch file with your configuration for your project. 